I've been just striving every single day to overachieve and put in the work and all the time that it takes to be the best that I can be at everything and not just focusing towards just fishing. I'm not just focusing towards working out. I'm not just for like focusing towards cooking and schoolwork, but all in all, I'm focusing on everything. And not only everything, I'm focusing on being the best at everything I'm doing. I'm focusing at making a difference and being a well-rounded person in all aspects of life. And I'm probably at the highest point, I'd say, as in motivation and being motivated that I've ever been in my life. And uh, I've never been as happy as I've been now. And you know, we all have regret. I have a lot of regrets, not only towards the last year, but some things I've done um, that I feel like held me back from achieving my overs, overall goal because I don't want to just be average, you know, I want to be the best. These fish have been so slow lately. I think we're going to come out here. I think we're going to catch them. You know, I, I don't. I'm hoping that we're gonna get a good, couple good bites and I really wanna hook into another absolute giant. Hoping we can do that here today. I'll show you guys a monster largemouth. I know they're in here, it's not like they're, they're just not in here, it's just if they're willing to bite, if I'm in that right area at the right time, working the bait correctly, how they want it. It's probably gonna take some time, but I'm just hoping that we're gonna Looking to a good one today. Feeling pretty good, feeling pretty confident. Throwing something a little bit different today. You know, rigged up a pink worm. Something I probably normally wouldn't throw out here. At least I haven't tried yet. Um, that might be a ticket to catching a big one. It's actually a pretty, pretty large worm. It's owned by ZB Company. You guys can go check them out. Um, he's working on a color for me. This is pink one right here. As you guys know, um, I'm a very big fan of pink worms, especially on clear water lakes like Lake Lanier. And uh, that color is uh, just outstanding. I, I just can't believe it turned out that good. <laughs> it's, it's literally unreal, the color of that thing. On um, the bait floats very well. Oh, it's just, gosh, if, it, if this gets in front of a big one's face, he shouldn't hesitate. He should just chomp it. There he is. <laughs> yep. Lucky he broke it right there. <laughs> Look at that pretty fish, guys. Not a bad one at all. He actually just broke my line. That line's super thin. It's like five, six yeah. pound line. And But uh, I'm gonna go retie, get a new worm on, and hopefully catch another one. That's one fish for today. Hold on. Oh my God, hold on, give me a second. He feels big. <laughs> he felt so big for a second there. Wow. Thank you. There you go, guys, another pretty fish. I was actually on the phone and he just ate it. He started taking off with it, but the little guy, let's get a release on her. Yeah. Oh my God. Dude, he like, God, he grabbed that worm. I wasn't, even, I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at the dogs. I just felt him. Just, I was just dragging it right at the end of that grass. Makes sense for him to be there. I don't know. I, I didn't really feel his pressure on him. He just pulled the worm. I think he just had it like, like that. He didn't have it all the way. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty big worm for a little fish to fit in. Maybe he'll bite it again. I don't know. He was right at the end of that grass.
Hey, hold up, hold up. That's a good one. That is a good one. Oh my God, he came off. Do you see him? Dude, that was a good fish. He's about three and a half pounds. God. Dude, I just lost one. I was about three and a half. If you guys are wondering why I've been fishing this bank and fishing back there, it's just because, you know, there's a lot of current. There's a lot of wind that's actually pushing right into here. So what that's going to cause is, you know, all those bait fish are actually going to push in to where those fish are at. And um, those fish are just going to kind of sit here and all that current, all that wind's going to go by. It's a really great area for them to just stage up. And uh, that's pretty much why I'm fishing right here. There's a little bit of grass on the edge. I'm going to throw this drop shot on the edge of the grass. Um, but I did lose that fish earlier. And it was, it was around three, three and a half pounds. That would have been my biggest one here in a minute. Which really stinks. But we're going to keep on fishing. Hopefully we can hook into a few more fish. This bait right here. So color wise. Oh my god. This thing is sick. It's just a regular morning dawn color. But I wouldn't say regular. All right, the color, everything about it is just phenomenal. What was on my neck right there? That freaked me out. So everything about this color right here is just phenomenal. You guys cannot tell on camera. I mean, yeah, this is a morning dawn worm, um, morning dawn. But the color of it is different than any other morning dawn that I've, you know, seen. It has more of a glow with it. And it, it, it's awesome. So Z Bait Company. I contact or we got in touch. Um, I didn't contact them. We kind of it's kind of mutual thing. Um, I talked to them at iCast, um, and we were talking together how we could work together. Maybe we could do something. Um, and I was talking about how I throw a pink worm all the time. That is like my go-to color, at least for Lanier. You know, that's what I'm always throwing um, on Lanier. Any clear water lakes, any lakes that really have a lot of spotted bass, also some smallmouth to tear it up. And I was talking to him about it. That's one color that they did not have. So we're just kind of working together and we're thinking of some cool things. So uh, this isn't something that you guys can go out and purchase right now. This is just something that me and him were currently just talking about. And um, he thought that we could work together and he could make a little color and me to sample it out and try it. Well, um, this is just the regular rib tail worm. You can go check out all their other colors and everything. But be sure to go check them out. They actually make some really cool baits. You know, it's been a while that I've been talking to him. He sent me over some baits. I mean, it's been about three months. I've, I've been using them. Everything that I use, I really don't like to throw like a hardcore like promotion to anything unless I'm 100% confident in it. Well, I got to use their products a little bit more and caught a good bit of fish. Was really confident in it. Um, this worm, you know, it floats. Everything about it was just pretty good, pretty awesome. And then he came out with this color that we're working together on and um, it's pretty cool. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. And on this pond out here um, behind my backyard, the water isn't, I wouldn't say super clear. It's got pretty decent visibility, um, but it is in some sort of way stained. Um, but it's clear at the same time. It's, it's really weird. Well, I normally throw like a June bug or just regular like green pumpkin, you know, green pumpkin and June bug, standard old colors. Um, you know, green pumpkin, any clear water, dirty water as well would work great. June bug mostly in dirty water. And that's usually what I throw out here. Well, he sent me these to try out and just show me some samples of and everything. And I was like, you know what? I want to try them. So I wanted to try them out. I'm not at Lake Lanier. I'm down in Savannah at college. So I was like, this is all I got right now. And um, so I tied it on my drop shot and pretty lengthy worm. All I was doing was nose hooking it and I uh, had about a foot leader than my drop shot weight. That uh, I've got more bites today than I have in a while and I wasn't even fishing too long. So I did go to a different part of the pond and I started fishing in a different area. If you guys were wondering who those kids are, they're actually neighbors across the street. And, uh, they wanted to go fishing, so I told them, I was like, yeah, you can come fish with me. We can, uh, we can do something over there. So whenever there was working that drop shot under some trees, and there was a lot of current, a lot of wind just pushing up into that little pocket area back there. I knew there was gonna be some bass uh, back there. I've gone over there a few times. It's just, I haven't had any luck. So whenever there today, caught one on this bad boy, threw another cast, hopped on the phone, caught another one. I was like, oh yeah, that's it's, it's working good. It's working good. And um, 
actually through at the edge where this grass comes out a little bit. Got another bite, he actually took the whole worm off. And I believe that this worm is a little bit smaller, like if I would've bit it down a little bit, he probably would've got it. I just don't think he had the whole thing in his mouth and kind of just pulled it off, um, but I got that bite. Then my dad calls me, so I answer on the phone. Beam of cast out there, got some loaded up on it. And right when I hooked it, I knew it was a big one. And I could just tell by the weight, he comes and flops, he's like three and a half pounds. And I'm like, dang, and he comes right off. So I was like, dang, that's not good. So, but the fact is, I got all these bites on this worm, and I haven't been doing that good. So, this color looks like it's going to be pretty good. Um, so, this isn't something that they're going to be producing right now, but if you want to go check out the regular rib tail worms, um, go check them out, the eBay company. Um, check out some of their other products as well. Not into like super hardcore promotion on this stuff right now because I'm still in the makings and trying it out. But what I've seen so far about this company is the baits, and I mean, they're legit. They're legit. They're really nice. Uh, uh, the designs are awesome. The people are really nice, really great people, and um, I definitely go check them out. They're pretty cool. So I'm gonna stop talking. Um, let's continue on with the day. Look how beautiful it is outside. It's just freaking awesome. Not too many clouds. It's got a few clouds scattered here and there. Mostly bluebird skies. Winds are picking up pretty good. I was standing back in that corner with all the wind pushing back there right here. Semi calm. It's not too bad, but so I went over there where it's gonna be pushing everything back into that corner. That's where I was getting all those bites, made complete sense. As you can tell, I don't know if you guys can see, it's pretty visible, but it's kind of dirty at the same time. So it's a weird color that I haven't experimented with much. Like if I'm on Lake Lanier, the water's just like blue or like straight green, and this water's like brown, but it's clear. So it's just, it's different. It's a uh, different water. Overall, I hope you guys have been having a good week. Hope you guys have been having a good day. I want you guys to strive to be the best that you can be at everything you're doing in your life. Put 120% effort into everything and just change the world, guys. You guys mean so much to me. All the support you guys give me is awesome. YouTube's been slowing down lately, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop because I won't ever stop. Um, motivation is through the roof right now. And I'm not just saying that. It really is. Um, I've been striving to be the best at every, everything that I'm doing. Um, not only school, not only videos, not only my business, not only working out, not only cooking my own meals, not eating out, not eating, starting to eat healthy, but just everything, guys. And this has been absolutely amazing. Like 45 days straight in the gym. Haven't missed a day. Haven't missed a day. Yesterday I actually worked out twice. I had team workouts um, for athletics. Yesterday morning, hit some legs. And then approaching nighttime yesterday, I hit shoulders and back. So I've just been killing it. It's been great. Already hit the gym this morning. Been a good day. Um, but I'm going to sit here, edit this video, and hopefully uh, come up with some other video ideas I can get out in the next couple of days. But overall, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. Please smash that like button. Please, please smash it up. Be sure to comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Seven, an understatement to my day-to-day. -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. Nigga said, said, ain't no way.